Hello everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. Today we're going over some Marvel Legends action figures from the Spider-Man No Way Home movie. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Now let's get to it. Starting with the integrated suit, I like the sculpt on the head, but the paint leaves a lot to be desired. Those web lines could be painted much better, but at least the eyes look really nice. The body is where it's at. I love the gold. It's kind of a bronzy gold color that looks really wonderful. The back is particularly good. I love how this looks over here. We have some nice gold portions along with that sort of matte kind of black and some good reds balancing it out. I really like how this looks and it's super neat. I do love this little piece over here too. That's a nice touch. And the spider symbol is great as well. I do like the sculpt in the legs and it looks great with color blocking, but the paint needs a little more gold, I think. Maybe if on the top or something, that'd be a little bit better. But for now, this is fine, I guess. As far as accessories goes, he comes with two fists that are color blocked nicely. I do like these kind of scaly patterns on them. They do swivel and then hinge pretty well. They look really nice and feel really nice. He also comes with two webbed whip hands that are pretty good. The black is darker than the rest of the suit for the paint on this one for some reason. That's kind of strange. Range. We do get a swivel and then a hinge going on over here. That works pretty well, at least. As far as articulation goes for integrated suit Spider-Man, the head can go back this far and forward this far, all the way around on the ball hinge. Nice pivot, swivel, and all that. You get up this far and down and all the way around. You get a butterfly joint, too. You do get a swivel over here and a double-jointed pinless elbow. Very nice. You also get a back this far and forward this far. Very nice for the ab crunch. You get a swivel over here and a splits, which looks really nice for this figure and up this far and back pretty far as far as the leg goes. That's pretty nice for a Spider-Man. You do get a swivel over here at the top. You do not get a swivel down here, which is a shame. They could have fit that in. A down and a up and a pivot with two pegos ball on the feet. Pretty good articulation for this figure. I do like the sculpt and paint. However, there's a better one, I think at least, coming down the line. This is a nice figure for what it is and what it was, but the future is now. The black and gold suit, or the inside out suit as I call it, looks really nice as far as paint goes, but upon closer inspection, it doesn't look that great for the eyes. There's some weird tampering and some circles and lines on there. Don't really match up and kind of bum me out, and the gold lines don't look that great from the front. It's great in practice, but bad in execution. As far as the black and gold suit goes, it was kind of shoehorned in the film. I don't like it that much. It looks just okay for the body. The coloration's all right. The gold is fine. The red is fine. It's just an okay body that reuses different Spider-Man pieces from previous figures. It's barely okay. The the legs are pretty weak as well, until I notice you have some kind of weird markings on the sort of shin area. That's kind of strange and really interesting. I don't know if it ties into anything for the movie, but this is basically previous Spider-Man parts we've seen with different color deco yawn. As far as accessories goes, you get swivels from the hands and then hinges as well. These are just your regular old grabbing things hands with nothing to grab for the figure. Again, yawn. He also comes with a pair of whip hands we've seen before. They're nice. We get a swivel and a hinge back and forward as well for them. They're fine, I would guess, but way more suited for Miles Morales than this Spider-Man. As far as articulation goes for black and gold suit Spider-Man, the head can go back this far and forward and swivel and then tiny bit of pivot. Also go up this far and down all the way around. Get a swivel over here and double jointed elbow this far over here and down. Get back this far, forward this far with some good tempo underneath and then no tempo over here. Get a swivel over here and a splits, which is fine, I guess, and then up and back and then all the way back with the knee. That's okay. And then you get a swivel up here. No swivel down here. Down and up and then pivot with two peg goes up on the feet. Definitely an okay figure. Not the best Spider-Man by a long shot in the MCU. He's fine, I guess. But if you want to customize or kit bash, definitely get this one. It's probably cheap on the aftermarket. As far as kit bashing goes, you can fit the previous MCU Peter Parker heads on these Spider-Man bodies and they look really great. The one on the left is from the Iron Man 2 pack and the one on the right is from the Walmart exclusive Spider-Man from Far From Home, and these are some wonderful heads that fit on these pretty good bodies. I've already covered this Doctor Strange in a different review with every other MCU Doctor Strange, so check that out if you'd like, but for now I'm gonna move on, but I gotta say this is the best Doctor Strange I've gotten, so definitely pick this one up. As far as Kit Bashing goes, you can use this Multiverse of Madness Cloak of Levitation on this Doctor Strange from No Way Home, and it looks excellent. Highly recommended. This J. Jonah Jameson J.K. Simmons head sculpt 
sculpt is one of my favorite head sculpts in Marvel Legends history as far as MCU or Sony or whatever. This is fantastic and looks awesome. It is the spitting image of not only the person but the character. This is just epic. That yell is awesome he does and J.K. Simmons is always a winner. Sadly every bit of effort they put into the head was not put into the body. This is your bog standard kind of body we've seen a million times before. I don't even know if I want to do articulation on it. It's just okay. And what is this over here? It's so stupid. They could have put it on the feet but I don't get it. Yeah this makes no sense to me. The coat looks fine. It's good for kit bashing. Can we move on already? Let's move on already. Get out of here Spider-Man. You're fired. This head looks awesome. These hands look awesome. I've already went over the head but these hands are great. Pointing hand you always need and a fist for hitting the desk or something like that. But it also has a ring on it. Looks really great. This hand goes swivel and you also get a hinge going up and down which is pretty cool. And you get a swivel over here and then a hinge going side to side which is also pretty cool. Very great hands and I'm probably not going to remove them from this figure. Whoops I lied. Yeah these hands and head are just barely okay. This is a great likeness of him though. It looks wonderful as far as the head sculpt goes. It's nice and is great. I just don't really see him that much in this expression. I feel like this head could have used the hat that he came with in the film and that would have made this head much better and more reporter like. These hands are just your generic kind of slapping hand I guess if you want to use that. It gets a hinge and then a swivel and this one over here gets a swivel and a hinge and yeah there's the ring on that. Good attention to detail. They're good heads and hands just not my favorites for this character. As far as height comparisons goes black and gold and integrated suit Spider-Man stand at a about five and a half inches tall or so. Doctor Strange stands at around six inches tall and J. Jonah Jameson stands at about six inches tall as well. They're all nice figures that are in pretty good scale. I like how they look together and also here's Jesse Heck Creative. Out of all the universes you could have showed me, you had to pick the weird one. Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. Tobey Maguire was the one that started all for me as far as superheroes and Spider-Man goes. I like the head sculpt. It looks nice, but the paint apps are somewhat inexcusable. There's some web lines that are missing the mark on the webs themselves, and there's a scratch on his eye that really bothers me. I do like the effort and appreciate it, but this could have been done way better. Sorry. The body looks fine too. It isn't like perfect or anything, but I think this is the best kind of web lining we can hope to get in a mass-produced figure. This looks really nice though the more I look at it, and I have really articulated it yet so this is really great as far as paint goes and sculpt pretty good body it looks kind of sort of larger of a spider-man to me but i'm kind of more used to the thinner ones like andrew garfield spider-man the legs look really nice there's a really good texture as far as that goes on the blue portion and coming down to this little leg portion of the boots looks great there are some sort of molding defects and i don't know what this is up here but yeah this is really nice as far as these legs go so far the body and legs are kicking butt as far as accessories goes toby comes with these hands that look really nice. They're painted pretty well and are cool. You get a swivel and then a hinge out of them and they work really well right out of the box. You also get some web swiping hands with some nice deco on them too. I like the silver. It looks really awesome and very handmade. This little dot of silver over here which is fine I guess. You get a swivel and then a hinge on them. They work great. Pretty cool. You lastly get some wall crawling hands that are fine I would guess. I don't like how they're asymmetrical though. You get one that's more flat and one that's a little more bent. It's pretty cool but not my thing. I like hands are the same thank you you get a swivel and then a hinge out of this one and you also get a swivel and then a hinge out of this one they both work really well and look nice as far as the paint goes as far as articulation goes for Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man the head can go left and right you also get back and forth and all the way around on the ball you get up this far for the arm and down no messing up as far as this goes thankfully all the way around with that you get a butterfly joint that works pretty okay it's very deep set in there for some reason kind of weird you get a swivel over here and a pinless tech elbow. Pretty alright. Not as great as other Spider-Man I've seen. You do get a all the way around with this. I'm going to be trying to be careful to not mess up the paint. Back this far with a little hole over there. And forward this far with a little hole on the back. Kind of messes up the symbol. And they look great by the way. I didn't really mention that. I like how they look. You get a back this far. Which, and it goes pretty down on this. But there's some smudgings over here. What is that? And then forward this far. Which is fine on the back I would guess. And you also get a 
down and a down as far as the hips go and then out this far and then up and then out this far up this far it's okay i think it doesn't really work as well as it should i don't want to really break it or hurt it or anything i think i just did maybe you also get back not really that far i'm gonna swivel over here and a double pinned pinless tech that's nice for this this is a good knee over here you get no swivel down here it's glued for some reason off center on mine by the way very strangely enough and then down and then up and then you get a pivot with two pegos upon the feet a nice looking figure but as far as translating it into action figure form this character doesn't really work as well as it probably should i do like how he looks though and he's probably a better display piece than a play piece andrew garfield spider-man was one of my favorites and this head sculpt has some really good paint but i can't excuse the mold for it there's a weird bulging portion out of here and it looks nice on this side but not on this side eyes also have some weird flex on them on this side too it's a shame because he was one of my favorite spider-man and he's just great in the film and in his other films the body looks awesome as well not really any much paint out of place this is much better painted than toby was really greatly done especially that back symbol oh it's awesome really love how this thing looks it's just so good yeah this is just excellent the legs are your bog standard spider-man movie legs we've seen before the texturing is great for the blue and i really like the black on red it looks really great and nice this is just epic as far as accessories goes, he comes with two fists that work pretty great. You get a swivel and then a hinge over here. You also get a web shooter that should be painted, shouldn't be painted. I don't know. Is it under his suit or over? Either way, they got to fix this and make it look a little bit better. Yeah, these are good hands with weird web shooters. He also comes with two web shooting hands that can swivel and then hinge over here pretty nicely. They work well and look good. It's a shame those web shooters couldn't be painted. He also comes with wall crawling hands that are asymmetrical. This one's really great. This one's in a really strange pose i don't understand they swivel and then hinge and then swivel and then hinge yeah i just don't get it this one's perfect why does this one exist as far as articulation goes for andrew garfield spider-man the head can go left and right and back and forward all the way around even with that weird bulge there you also get up this far and down you get a swivel over here and a nice butterfly joint that works pretty well too better than toby's i would think the swivel over here double joint elbow looks really nice over here you get a down and then around being very careful to not scratch anything they swivel back there's no real hole forward there's no real hole there and even more spider symbol back there if you want to use that it looks really nice and it looks great when you line it all up you get a crunch back and that's pretty neat and a crunch forward and that's pretty cool i guess and you also get a down yep and a down yep out being very careful because i feel like this is going to pop off at the thigh up here out this far really nicely and out up here pretty nice for that back not really that great and a double jointed knee that works very well even farther back yeah yeah it looks really nice that's awesome swivel up here no swivel down here for some reason it's glued better i think than the previous one though down and then up and then pivot with two pegos up on the feet definitely a great figure that has some qc issues that i don't know what i'm going to do about but but yeah, this is my favorite Spider-Man as far as it goes with this three-pack so far. Hello everyone, and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. And so we circle back to the beginning with the previous Spider-Man we've already seen in a different deco. The Tom Holland Spider-Man looks nice. It's the same thing as before, but added paint. I dare say, with the rest of the suit, it looks great, but on its own, I'm not a fan of how chunky the lines are. The body is an improvement by a slight margin. It is a really deep blue as opposed to a dark gray. I'm torn on which one I like more, but I do like the darker red as far as the suit goes. This one's a win for me. The back even looks better, and the paint look better as well and the color is awesome so yeah this one takes the cake the legs are pretty much the same too i really love how these look it's a deep blue that looks really nice and the gold stands out as well the web lines look awesome too and it is a really great improvement on the previous figure as far as accessories goes he comes with two fists that are painted differently than the previous you get a swivel and then a hinge so they're the same mold but i don't know which ones i like better these are nice the other ones are nice it's a toss-up the web swooping hands look really nice albeit at an angle for some some reason maybe this hasn't moved out that much or i need to figure something out with that gauntlet over here it looks fine i would guess as far as the angle goes for it same hands same swivel and everything let's just move on before i go crazy and finally we have wall crawling hands for spidey they look awesome i love these they're super great you get a swivel and then a hinge out of them also these are just mwah. To compare both Spider-Men, they look really nice together. It all depends on if you like a darker color with web lines or a lighter color without web lines.
lines. I choose the darker width because that blue looks really nice as well. It's probably more film accurate as well as those extra hands working for the new figure. The old one was great for its time, but the new one is here to stay. All three of them come with web lines that I couldn't care much less about. They're way more translucent and gummy and junky than the previous. As far as height comparisons go, Peter 1 stands at about 5.5 inches tall, Peter 2 at about 5 and 3 quarters inches, and Peter 3 at about almost 6 inches tall. They look really great together and in scale with each other. Individually, they're just okay figures, but as a group, they look phenomenal. I'd probably recommend this 3-pack. And also, here's Jesse Heck Creative. Here's a fun fact about Spider-Man No Way Home. I was supposed to be in this scene where they're all huddled up together as Peter 4. I was right here in the shot, but they cut me out of the movie because I kept forgetting my lines and I blocked the camera. Overall, I'm glad these action figures made it to my home. The Tom Holland suits are all right. I wish they had better articulation, but I find that the best one of the three is the new integrated suit. It has a much better coloration, better accessories, and looks great when posed with the other Spider-Man. The black and gold suit for what it's worth isn't the best of the three and I would skip it. The original integrated suit though I would pick up if you don't want the three pack but still love Spider-Man. The No Way Home Doctor Strange is one of my favorite MCU Doctor Stranges to date and is phenomenal and while J.K. Simmons, J. Jonah Jameson, is a nice figure and character, his articulation is awful and he can barely stand on those feet. That being said, I love everything with the accessories he comes with. They are brilliant. As for the brand newcomers, Toby and Andrew, they knocked it out of the park as far as the sculpt, but the paint leaves a lot to be desired. A lot of web lines are missing, there are scratches on the figures, and in the case of Andrew, one of his cheeks is bulging out. The quality control for these are not the best, and I wish they would be better for what we're paying for these figures. On a positive note though, I'm finally glad to have these on the shelf as far as newer Marvel Legends goes, and they would look great next to everyone else. I can only hope that whatever we're getting for them down the line as far as repacks and redos will fix the issues that these figures have. I would highly recommend getting the three pack if you're a big fan of MCU Spider-Man. If not, just get the integrated suit on its own and leave the black and gold suit where it is. Doctor Strange, of course, is the best of the bunch here, even though I didn't really review him. And J.K. Simmons, J. Jonah Jameson, is a hit and a miss. I really love how he looks, but how he moves isn't that great. But make no mistake, if you're a Spider fan, getting these is your Spider plan. So which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Feel free to click like, subscribe, share, or leave a comment. You can also visit us at jesseheckcreative.com where you'll find more reviews like this one. Thanks again for watching and keep being creative. Stay tuned!